and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and a Review in the Market. So the market gap down today was lower. And then right when the market reversed today, I mean, you can pinpoint it exactly. A non-voting Fed member came out and said he favors only raising rates a quarter of a point, the next rate hike, which is happening in a couple of days, uh, less than two weeks. Today's Thursday. So again, it's not next week. It is the following week that rates will be raised once again. Everyone's expecting a quarter point hike. But then when some of the economic numbers came out, then people were thinking the Fed was going to raise the rates a half a point. Why the market rallied today when one person who isn't even voting said he thinks he should do it a quarter is just based on emotion. This market is purely rate driven based on emotion. It's if one person says they're going to lower rates, it rallies. If one person says they're going to raise his rates, it, it drops. This market is so, it's just like anything right now, rate related affects this market. So it's so. It's so timid in its reaction. It's just like it's scared to rally. It's scared to drop. Somebody says something, it reverses. So again, did was there really any meaning or any weight to anything that a non-voting Fed member said today? Absolutely not. But the market wants desperately, always, 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 to get bought into these dips, into support. So it rallied today, even though it was gapping down. So if that man had not come out and said that today, would the market have fallen today or sidelined? Yeah, probably. Does this mean we're going to rally tomorrow? No. Does this mean we're going to drop tomorrow? No. Again, between now and the next 24 hours, somebody could say something that could flip the market again or could make the market go higher or could do anything at all. You've got to stay focused on what you're doing. You have to size yourself correctly. You have to get out when you're up. You have to look at what you're doing with your strategy and see if it goes with this market. So I look at bearish gaps and I look at bullish gaps, but I mainly focus on bearish gaps. So overall here, do I think this changes my overall bias here for the market, this rally today? Absolutely not. So again, people love to buy the dips. We rallied today. We pushed back. Took a look at the market today. Had my thoughts on it. Discussed it in the room. But then as soon as we flipped, I immediately looked up what the reason was. And it was clear as day. It was about rates. So this market just wants to react so aggressively every time somebody says something because it's hoping and praying and wishing and hoping that it will hold up and rally despite the, some of the awful economic numbers, despite the high inflation, despite the fact that we're probably going into recession in the second quarter of 2023. Some people think we're, we're in a recession, we're coming out of it. Now, I don't even think we've gone in it yet. We're, I think we're heading into it. Deeper economic troubles for the overall economy based on rates going up. I also think that they're gonna end up raising rates a half a point in two weeks if there's more bad economic data. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. So we'll say, we'll say, Good luck, everyone. Stay tuned. We'll see where we go tomorrow morning. And if you're interested in more information on how to trade gaps, email me at melissa at the stock